there have been a couple of useful enhancements to the machine tool simulation. The first of these enhancements involves the collision checking. When either a machine part collides with another machine part or a machine part collides with uh, the component, the colliding part of the machine will change to a red colour during the collision. This makes it much easier to see when there is a collision and also which part of the machine is actually colliding. Let's take a look at this uh, in action. So if we view from the front and zoom in slightly and I simulate from the start and then play the simulation you can see that first of all um, when we get the first collision detected it pops up a warning but then if we carry on playing we don't get any future warnings but now you can see that whenever there is a further collision the part of the machine that is colliding is changing red so in this case the spindle of our machine is obviously colliding with our part if we pause the simulation and spin the part around and zoom in we can see quite clearly where the collision is in this case so this will continue to change colour whenever the collision occurs. As well as the graphical indication of the part of the machine turning red, then we have the uh, machine collision tab here with a list of all the collisions which has been in Paramore for several versions. If we rewind that simulation to the beginning, and the second enhancement to the machine tool simulation is the, the ability to simulate the NC program or toolpath in real time based upon the feed rate stored with the toolpath. So to do this we simply change the simulation method from point to point to feed rate based simulation. Now if I change that feed rate to roughly 100% and if we look at the feed rate associated with the toolpath it's currently set at 10 millimeters per minute so again if I play that now you can see the simulation is obviously very slow because it's simulating in real time at a value of 10 millimeters per minute. If I pause that simulation and increase my feed rate to say 1000 millimeters per minute and apply and play the simulation again you can see now the simulation is much faster. So the default simulation that has been in Paramount for many years is the point-to-point -point simulation and the new feed rate based simulation has been added for Paramount 2013.